And first up at 6 o'clock, she made national headlines for performing, performing an abortion on a 10-year-old rape victim, and now her medical license is on the line. Dr. Kaylin Bernard spoke to the media about what happened, leading to this hearing, which just entered its 10th hour. This all came to light right after Roe v. Wade was overturned. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall has been inside Dr. Bernard's hearing all day and is live with where things stand at this hour. Caitlin. Mark and Megan, I can tell you it has been a long day, but we are still in the thick of it. Attorney, uh, attorneys for Dr. Caitlin Bernard just finished their cross-examination of the state's last witness. Now, the board will determine two things. One, did Dr. Caitlin Bernard violate HIPAA when telling a reporter about the victim? And two, did Dr. Bernard violate Indiana's abuse reporting laws? Now, the board swore in at 8.30 this morning, and they've been hearing testimony from Attorney General Todd Rokita's office and Dr. Caitlin and Bernard's attorneys. The attorney general claims that Dr. Bernard violated patient privacy laws when she spoke to the media about the girl's treatment at a rally last June. A HIPAA expert who just spoke agrees with that, saying that he believes that she violated HIPAA when sharing where the patient was from and her age. Now, cross-examination just um, from uh, Dr. Caitlin Bernard's attorneys kind of disputed some of that, but still a lot unfolding. Now, she and several other witnesses, Dr. Bernard and several witnesses testified saying that it was reported to in the Indiana Department of Child Services when the terminated pregnancy report was filed, saying that it is a social worker's duty to report it. That, they say, is their hospital's policy. Dr. Bernard was emotional many times today, even shedding a few tears. She was asked if this hearing over her medical license should be hap would be happening rather if she had spoken to the media that day and here's what she had to say no I don't think that's correct I think that if uh, the Attorney General Todd Rokita had not chosen to make this his political stunt we wouldn't be here today as part of my advocacy to support access to comprehensive reproductive health care for Hoosiers I felt it was important for people to understand that they were going to call a special session and that there was a very real possibility that they would pass an abortion ban in Indiana with absolutely no exceptions, and that patients like this one would be forced to leave out of state for abortion care. Now, Dr. Bernard has been adamant all day long that she has done nothing wrong and did report the alleged abuse as she should have. Now, I'm going to step back into the session that's going on right now. I'm sure we will have more witnesses from um, Dr. Bernard's attorneys. Of course, the state just wrapped up with their final witness of the day. I'm told from several people out here that this could last into more hours of tonight. So I'll step back in there and we'll bring you guys the very latest right here on WRTV News at 11. Mark. A quick timeline of Dr. Caitlin Bernard's case. In July of 2022, Bernard performed an abortion on a 10-year-old rape victim from Ohio because the law in that state prevented the child from getting an abortion there. Later that month, Attorney General Todd Rakita told Fox News he was looking into if Bernard followed proper reporting procedures. Her legal team then filed a tort claim, signaling their intent to sue Rakita. In November, lawyers for Bernard filed suit against Rakita to keep him from accessing her private patient medical records. Later that month, Rakita called on the state medical licensing board to punish Bernard for talking to the media about the 10-year-old's abortion, which led us to today's hearing.